everyone, it's Kyle here from KGTV. And uh, today, I just got in my new um, iPad Pro. Uh, this is the, I believe the third gen, the 11 inch model. Um, the reason why I went with the 11 inch model um, is just the fact that I've kind of been trying to like cut down on some of the size of like my devices and stuff like that. So actually, um, when I got my iPhone, I opted to go with the iPhone XS instead of the um, XS Max. And I really haven't missed a big phone really. Like sometimes I wish it was just a little bit bigger, but with the bezels getting so small on phones now, you're actually getting more screen real estate. So, you know, like using the older iPhones when you had that big chin and stuff like that, um, the phone definitely felt a lot smaller. But nowadays when you're getting, you know, a five point whatever inch phone, but most of that is the screen, it's actually not as small as you would think. Um, so, I went to the Apple store, I checked out the 12.9 inch model, and I really liked that when it was like sitting at the desk, but whenever I went and like lifted it up and held like the free floating iPad Pro uh, 12.9, I was like, man, this is just, this is too overwhelming. I wouldn't like carrying this around. But whenever I picked up the 11 inch, it just felt perfect. It felt like it wasn't super heavy. It was about the size, maybe a little bit smaller, like a smaller notebook kind of. And I was like, that would be the perfect size to carry around. Um, I actually have a Surface Book 2 uh, laptop and I have the 15 inch version and I thought I would use the tablet uh, portion of it a lot more. But um, like whenever you put it into tablet mode, you're still dealing with like a 15 inch screen, which is just kind of like massive. Um, it's definitely cool and it's an awesome laptop. Microsoft is doing some pretty sweet stuff uh, in terms of like innovating, but man, that thing is just kind of like cumbersome to carry around. So I find that I use it more um, just as a laptop than I do as a tablet. And seeing the power in the, um, iPad Pros, it's just, it's crazy what you're able to do. I see videos of people on YouTube editing, you know, 4K videos, um, and you know, the the clips are in like real time, you know, like they're, they're smooth, they don't have to like really buffer or anything like that. So, sorry for the long rant, but that's actually what got me into looking into an iPad Pro. I'm actually considering uh, getting rid of the Surface Book 2. I'll kind of try to do like a comparison between the two. I know they're pretty different. Um, but I'm just not, I bought it kind of for work and I got a new job, so I'm not using it as much as I was planning on using it before. And I would like something that, like I said, is just a little bit smaller. It's easier to carry, carry around. And I think I'm gonna get a lot more usage out of this with being the size it is, I'm not gonna, you know, um, not wanna carry it around as much. I'm definitely gonna wanna carry this around more because it's bigger than the iPhone, but, you know, not as cumbersome as like a 15 inch touchscreen. So, uh, now that that rant's over, um, I'm gonna do like a quick unboxing of it. Um, I actually bought this one on eBay. Um, it's the 256 gig one, and uh, I talked the, the seller down a little bit and they accepted an offer, so that was pretty cool. Um, these are kind of expensive, but seeing as the condition of the new I, uh, MacBook Pros and how they have the keyboard issues, um, I really don't think that this is a bad option if you're looking for something to do a little bit of multitasking, you know, making videos, and doing some work like that. Um, I think this is actually a nice option. I know there's a lot of debate about, um, does this replace a MacBook Pro? And I would have said yes, 
kind of before, like almost definitely just seeing how powerful this is. But um, just recently, I think as a couple days ago, they actually just announced the MacBook Pro 2019 version. And from what I'm seeing on that, it seems like a lot of people are pretty happy about that. Um, they said that like there isn't as much thermal throttling. Hopefully the keyboard issues are fixed and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get back to the unboxing. So here's this box, uh, 256 gig. I really like the, um, the wallpapers that Apple's been doing on these boxes. They look actually pretty awesome. Um, so we just pull that tab. And I just hope I don't drop this because I'm trying to do this behind the camera. I'm actually recording this on my iPhone XS right now. And um, I opted for the Space Gray model. Um, I just kind of like Space Gray still. I know some people are kind of tired of it. Some people definitely aren't. Um, but yeah, there's the iPad Pro. Let's put that off to the side right now. And signed by Apple in California. So the new um, iPad Pros, I know I'm late to the game and these have been out for a little while, but they're using USB-C. So you have a USB-C to USB-C cable in here. And then, um, your, your typical Apple stuff in here uh, with your probably your stickers and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe with uh, the new version of the iPhone that'll you know the iPhone 11 that'll be coming out. Hopefully it'll be making the switch to USB-C for everything. Um, I think that that's going to be the way to go with connecting and connection stuff in the future, for sure. So, let me put this back on here. By the way, this music stands work wonders for uh, displaying your stuff, and I just have a blanket thrown over it. Um, but yeah, here's the iPad Pro, this is the 11 inch. Um, Now I know that these have had issues with being bent, so I will definitely report in. Um, I'll try to see. Uh, let me see if I can get my camera up there. So, I mean that looks pretty, pretty straight to me. I don't see why it would be bent, but I know that people were having some issues with that. So. That's the iPad Pro. Now, I was also able to find on Craigslist someone selling the Apple Pencil, the second generation. The first generation, um, I'm not sure if it'll work. Uh, I'd have to look into that. I know that the first generation it has like a silver band around the top part, like here. So um, if you're looking for one, and you didn't know that, make sure that if you're getting this version of the iPad Pro, that you get the Apple Pencil 2. I think the Apple Pencil 2 will work with the new one, but it won't work with the old one. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But I know that the old one also uses a lightning connector, and it used to stick out of the end. It looked really stupid. Um, this one now just magnetizes to like the top of the iPad, and um, it charges that way too. And also on Craigslist from the same person, I was able to get the iPad Smart Keyboard Folio, which I actually have right here as well, which um, I'll do like a little bit of a video on it. But yeah, like everything was in pretty good, good condition. The woman said she just didn't use it very much. Um, so how it works, 
is that you just kind of open this up and then you have your three connectors right there. And it, you feel it actually kind of pull into place. And then you can actually hear how that magnetizes down to the bottom. And then um, it, it was actually a pretty strong force. I wasn't expecting it to be that strong. So uh, let me get the Apple Pencil out just so I can show you guys that as well. So yeah, definitely do some looking around. Um, and then the Apple Pencil connects right like that. And then there you go. Um, like I said, I found the keyboard and the pencil on uh, Craigslist and I got a really good deal on them. The woman charged me, she was asking for 200. I offered her 175. I had a little bit of a drive, but she said since I had a little bit of a drive that she would take 25 bucks off. Um, the keyboard's in really good condition. The pencil looks like it's a little worn or brown or something there, but hey, you know, for uh, for being as cheap as it was, I mean, can't really complain. So I'll have some follow-up videos. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a comparison between this and the Surface Book 2. If you're interested in the Surface Book 2, uh, let me know and uh, maybe we can work out a deal. Um, I have the Surface Pen with it. I have um, Tempered Glass, which I haven't put on it yet, um, but I should have put it on there before, but the screen is in perfect condition, So, um, but I'll include that. Um, I have a clear case on it that looks really nice, and it's very protective. It covers every portion of that thing. And um, I have the original box and uh, everything with it, so like I said, if any of you guys are interested, let me know. Uh, but until then, I, I, like I said, I'll have some more videos out about this and um, my workflow and how it's working out for me. Uh, so take care, guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.